It was awesome. It was amazing. Um, it like I went home, and I was just talking to my dad, and he, of course, he brought up the part where, of course, I got caught, you know. But we were just like, man, like that's crazy because like he always, we always speak about being patient. Just when your time come, make the best of it. And I ain't gonna say I made the best of the best of it, you know. But I went in and I just played to my, you know, best ability. And so you'd played in six games since you got here in 2020. Yes, sir. But this is your first start. Yes, sir. And you get your first carry and uh, no yards. Yeah. <laughs> Down at the line of scrimmage, what are you thinking? I'm like, oh, man, <laughs> did I just mess up? Are they going to pull me out? <laughs> That's what I was kind of thinking. Like, man, did I just mess up? Like, oh, I want to make a good impression on the coaches. I want to, you know, right. our coaches, they, they fight so much, like, you know, to, like, you know, prove to the world. And I just, I, I, I didn't, like, at that time, I kind of felt like I kind of let the coaches down. So I wanted to like I wanted to get up and run another play like come on because I can prove to y'all like I want to prove to the world that our team is, you know we got the talent here. We well, have to wait about an hour. <laughs> Your second carry yeah. is in the third quarter. Yes, sir. Minus one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After that, after that carry, I knew that. Yeah, we got to get rolling. We got to get rolling. You know, our offensive line was already doing what they was doing. I feel like it was just me, you know, kind of dancing in the backfield. So I knew like. After that carry in the third the third quarter, I knew like, yeah, it's no more dancing, just hit the holes and just go. A few seconds later, you hit the hole, you go for twenty-five yards. Sir. First down, does a light come on? Yeah, it start it start it start clicking, you know. I want, like I said, I, I wanted to make my coaches proud at that moment. I just had to start just going. Two plays later, you hit the ball, you go 17 yards. Man. How the crowd's getting into it. Can you hear them? Yes, sir. What is that sound like? Man, it is it, all I hear is just, you know, <laughs> it's loud. But I'm just trying to stay focused and just, you know, keep my calm. Your quarterback's a veteran. Yes, What's sir. Jaron Hall telling you? What's he saying in and out of these plays? You got it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Relax. And keep playing. Do what you're doing. And the offensive line's picking it up. Can you feel there's a momentum surge? Yeah. Everyone's been waiting to run the ball behind these giants. The best in the nation. <laughs> now it's starting. What, what, what's going through your mind at this point? Now it's just, you know, we're, we're rolling. Let's just let's keep going. That's, that, that's going through my mind. That was going through my mind. Just keep rolling. Keep doing what we do. You know, keep your composure. Stay relaxed, you know, and just run the ball. Fourth quarter, here comes your first reception of the night, or your longest one. 14 yards. You were a big receiver back in high school. How important is catching the ball out of the backfield to your game? Uh, catching the ball, I, I take that, you know, really serious. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't want to speak to existence, but I don't never want to drop a ball in the game. That's like my biggest fear, you know, one of my biggest fears in a football game because I, I came from a receiver and then like I got moved to a running back. So like being as a running back, I still want to be able to catch the ball, you know, and I still got to make Fessy proud also. So you got to make a lot of people yeah, happy in this group. for sure. You start running the ball. Yes, sir. That opens some other things. And all of a sudden, Keanu Hill pops free for a 68-yard bomb. Is that what the ground game can do for this offense? Uh, Enough of this opens up all of this? Yeah, I feel like a that's A-Rod plan, you know? A-Rod plan is, you know, to get the running game. Every game, we talk about getting the running game going, because once the running game going, it opens up so much because they bring everybody down, try to stop the run, and it's just wide open, the receivers are wide open. Not saying they're not always wide, they're always wide open, you know? We just gotta, you gotta, you know, it gotta start with something and then it leads to another. All right, now to the big one. You're running to your left, mm -hmm. you put your foot in the turf and you cut up field and you're going 70 yards. Yeah. Pretty soon everybody's chasing you. Walk me through that play. Uh, so right before I went back in, Harvey was like, look, look inside. I see you keep looking outside. But that inside, if you cut and to that inside, is wide open. So just keep looking into the inside. And so I was like, okay, all right, you know. And then I looked into the inside, and you know, I broke it, and I was like, yeah. So that was all Harvey on that. That was nothing with me. That was just, you know, I just did what he told me to do. Well, now you're a Nevada state champion in the 200 meter relay, <laughs> but this one is all you. Yeah. Are you? Do you think you're gonna get to the house? Oh, yeah, I, I thought, I, I honestly thought I was out the gates. Like, honestly, I was like, oh, I'm out, like, you know? So I, I started, it, it sounds bad, but I kind of started, like, pulling up, like, you know, like, relaxing. And next thing you know, he grabbed me, and I was like, dang it. Like, I thought I had that, but, you know, it's all, always room for another, another one come for sure. No room for relaxing out there, is yeah, there? Yeah, at all, at all. There's no room for relaxing in college. <laughs> this is not high school.
When Jaron puts that ball in your stomach, mm -hmm. what, what are you thinking? Um, to try to make a play, you know, try to make the team, you know, do what the team expect, you know, our team go out there, we, we practice, we do everything at practice, you know, so just going to the game, I try to just do my best ability. As you break it, can you hear what's going on in the stadium? No, I didn't. Because everyone else can see that there's a lot of green grass between <laughs> you and the end zone. Yeah, I didn't. I, at that time, I was really trying to score. I, I wasn't listening. I was just trying to go. Like, I don't. If I'm pretty sure if they would have blew a whistle, I probably would have kept running. Because like, I just saw it and I saw the end zone, so I was just trying to go get it. When you're in a zone like that, is it like running in silence, despite yeah, how loud everything think, is around you? Yeah, yeah. I feel like at that moment, it was just like everything around me got silent. Like everything, like I couldn't hear nothing. Like honestly, I didn't hear nothing until he grabbed my ankle. Like honestly, it felt like it was like a noise cancellation on. You got your headphones on. It's like you couldn't hear nothing. You just trying to go. And then I was watching film, and I'm like seeing everybody celebrate. I'm like, I did not hear any of this. Really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear nothing. I, it was all noise cancellation. I was just trying to score. I guess that's a sign of concentration, right? Yes, sir. Because I'll tell you this, the place was going bananas as you I were running down the field. <laughs> Man. So who'd you call after the game? Uh, well, I called my dad, yeah. <laughs> honestly. You I got called, the first call? Yeah, I, I called my dad and my brother. It was on a group uh, FaceTime, and then we were all talking. Who was the first to say, I can't believe you didn't make it to the end zone? Your uh, brother or my, your dad? My dad. Your my dad. dad and my, honestly, my dad and my brother, it was like, Miles, how you get caught, <laughs> man? Like, how did you get caught? Like, you run track. Like, they said, yeah, it's back to this didn't summer. did you say, hey, look, I ran for 130 yards? Nah, yeah, uh, they, that's all they, they honestly, they, yeah, they didn't care about that. You know, they was just like, <laughs> you can't get caught from behind like you know so this whole thing that ho this whole week I've been hearing it every day every time I get a call from my pops I got man you gotta we get it back on the track this summer like <laughs> <laughs> last summer we we kind of got off of it you know but we get him back on the track this summer how eager are you to go out there tonight and do it again man I'm ready you know whenever my name is called I just want to go out there you know make the best you know make the best ability and do what I do you know just whenever my name is called when you get the ball, do you feel like you're the fastest on the field? When I get the ball? Yeah. I feel like, you know, I feel like we have to have that mindset, you know? We have to have that mindset that we're the fastest or we're the best on the field when we get on the field because that, it's all start off with the confidence, you know? It all start off with confidence of the game. So when you have confidence in yourself, you know, it builds up confidence around you. Everybody starts having confidence in you. So every time I step on the field, I try to make, make it seem like I'm the best and fastest on the field. Well, when your dad calls you tonight, I hope he says, hey, congratulations on your <laughs> touchdown, because then you will have yeah. gotten to the house. He'll, he'll actually be at the game tonight. Oh, good. He'll be at the game tonight, and so I can't wait. You know, he didn't get to make it to the last game. My little brother played football also, so, but he'll be at the game tonight. Good. Good so, luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And go Coop Nation.